In this tutorial, we're going to look at Expert Sleeper's uh, Crossfade Looper CM, which is a really cool little sampler with some awesome features. When you load it up, it's not going to make any sound by itself, so you need to load in some samples. So uh, load up uh, animated chord.wav. You can now play this sample back up and down the keyboard. <laughs> You hear that the sample loops smoothly because Crossfade Looper CM crossfade loops it automatically and it sounds very lovely indeed. By default the loop mode is set to forwards. Um, turn up the loop knob in the sample panel to backwards and the loop will play from the end and loop around at the start so basically it sounds playing backwards. Turn it up again and it'll switch to alternative mode and this will give you a kind of old school ping pong loop that alternates between playing forwards and backwards which can also give you some interesting effects. Okay, now return the loop to forwards mode and let's have a quick listen to what the loop sounds like without the crossfade. This sample wasn't designed to loop perfectly so let's just have a listen to that. Drag the light blue crossfade marker at the bottom of the waveform display all the way to the left. This sets the crossfade length at zero. Now you can hear an audible click when the sample loops. Part of the reason Crossfade Loop CM is so cool is that it will automatically crossfade samples for you. So it's great for kind of making instrument sounds and textures and you, you really don't have to you know worry too much about pre-preparing your sounds so much so that they'll loop okay. You really can do everything in here. Let's take a look at some of the more sophisticated ways that you can use the crossfade looping. For example, turn up the crossfade length to about 95% and here we get a little bit of a rhythmic interplay between uh, the different parts of the filter suite present in the original sample. You can use the green and red markers to set the start and the end points of the loop respectively. So set the start point to 0.851 and you'll get a smooth loop at the end of the sound after the filter sweeps have finished. You can control where the sample starts playing uh, by using the yellow marker. So drag this to 0.761. Now when you play the sample, you'll bypass all these filter sweeps at the start of the sound. And this gives you an idea of how you can get just like, turn a little bit of a sound into, into something really usable that you can get creative with in its own right. Next, let's have a look at um, the instrument's filter. Turn up the type knob in the filter panel until it says low and set the Q to 0.4. Turn down the level to 0.8 and then turn the cutoff knob all the way down and the envelope amount knob all the way up. The filter envelope knob controls the movement of the filter. In the filter envelope panel, turn the sustain knob all the way down and turn the attack and decay to 12 o'clock and set the attack and decay curve knobs to between 10 and 11 o'clock. filter can also be modulated by a dedicated LFO. In the filter LFO panel set the amount knob to 0.525 and the speed to 3.148 Hz. You'll notice that by default the mono mode in the panel is set to off which means you can get some cool rhythmic effects by playing broken chords. Crossfade Looper CM has another LFO that's dedicated to pitch modulation. Set its amount to 30 cents and its speed to 13.04 to get a light vibrato effect. A more unusual effect that the instrument has is the hard sync mode which we can activate by turning up the sync and uh, set it to 8. You can now get a different tomba by changing the detune parameter. This too has its own dedicated LFO, so set the amount to 750 cents and the speed to 2.865 Hz. Turn on the saturation knob in the saturation panel in the bottom left hand corner. Now turn up the amount knob. This won't actually add a harsh distortion, but we'll just rather give the sound a crunchy granular edge. Turn the shape knob up for a more pronounced effect. 
Finally, let's take another look at the filter. Um, as well as the currently active low mode, uh, it also has band and high modes. Plus, you can set it to a mix between the uh, different types. So, uh, turn up the time knob to high and uh, hear what a different set has on the sound. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,